Hey guys, this is Steve Pinkham from Maven Security. Uh, today I want to talk to you about our Web Security Dojo and specifically how to install that into VMware's free player product. Um, first I'll tell you a little bit about Web Security Dojo. It's a training environment for web application security. Uh, it has installed some web application security tools, uh, some target environments that have vulnerabilities in it, some of which are clearly documented for you and some of which you have to find on your own. So it provides a couple different ways to learn that way. There's also good documentation on uh, what vulnerabilities are in general, some of the standard documentation from OWASP about how to go about finding those problems and what those problems mean. Uh, all in all, everything is set up uh, for you so you don't have to do anything. You can just sit down and start hacking. Um, so no matter what your level of skill in web application security, there's something in there for you to be able to hone your skills a little bit. Uh, I'll show you the VMware player that we're going to use to install this in today. Uh, it's a product from VMware that allows you to run another operating system inside your OS. Uh, it doesn't make any changes to your environment. Um, it ha gives you the ability to have it Net networked, which means you can get out but nobody else can get in, so you can run these insecure web apps without worrying about people accessing your computer in ways that are bad. You know, still probably not something you should be running if you're at Black Hat or some other place where there's tons of hardcore people around who might find a way in, uh, but in general it's fairly safe because of the way it's installed and there should be no changes or impact to the rest of your computer at all. So it's a great way to play with these things without interrupting your computer you use for normal use. Uh, if you go to their products VMware player section, you can download for free their VMware player. They do ha ask you to register before you download it, but there's no limitations on it. You just have to give up a little bit of your personal information. It's a very good tool though and lets you easily run this software. So go ahead and download that. Uh, after you've downloaded and installed that, you need the Web Security Dojo files. You can come to dojo.mavensecurity.com. Uh, there's a link there to SourceForge files, or down here a link specifically to the VMware version. Uh, I want to show you a caveat here on SourceForge. The big green button that SourceForge has on their website, uh, you'll see in a second, is the VirtualBox version. So if you're running in VMware Player or you have some other VMware software that you already have installed and you want to pull the VMware version, you got to go down here to the VMware version and not the big green button for VirtualBox. If you get to SourceForge not from our website, some other way, you'll come to the summary page and you have to click the view all files for the VMware version. It won't even be down there. And that'll bring up the download page with the VMware files on it. Once you've downloaded and installed the VMware player and downloaded the dojo files for VMware, uh, you just need to extract the dojo files next. Uh, I'm going to use the built-in zip file extractor in Windows 7 and Vista. Just double click on the file and say extract all files and it will create a place to extract them to. If you have a zip file handling program you prefer to use, that's fine. I'm going to skip ahead while this decompresses for a minute. When that file is done decompressing, this is what you'll have. You have a new directory, uh, which contains the directory from our zip file and all the files for VMware. We don't really have to concern ourselves with what exactly these files are. Uh, it will be handled by VMware Player. We just have to know where to be able to find the files. Um, so then you'll open up your VMware Player. And tell it to open a virtual machine find out where you have that directory here in mine it's desktop dojo vmware web security dojo and there's the file tell it to open that up and it's all installed and ready to go um, to start it just double click on the name up here or hit play virtual machine down here and wait for a minute while it starts up it may give you messages telling you you have some extra hardware you can install if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you say here because 
uh, you already have the keyboard and mouse connected by default, keyboard and mouse and network connection by default. So any additional hardware is entirely up to you. I'm gonna skip ahead again while this in starts up. Now that the dojo is all finished booting up, uh, you're all set to go. There's only a few things you might want to change if you're in a non-US location especially. You can go into the system menu and preferences keyboard. Uh, if you have a non-US keyboard, you're definitely going to need to change that. Just come out here and you do your add keyboard. You can choose your country and keyboard variant. So when you type, the correct thing comes out. It's always a good thing. Also, you may want to change the display, change system preferences display to give it a different resolution so you can get more stuff on the monitor if you have a larger monitor than is included by default. Um, then you're all set to go. Uh, we have other videos up about how to get started and you're welcome to view those. Hope this has been useful. I'll talk to you guys again soon.